Welcome to Texas Bird Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today you're going to be watching a video of me and my buddy Brad going over to Del Rio, Texas and hunting on my buddy Page Day's ranch with Acorn Outfitters. It was a, it was a hard hunt. It was a lot of um, walking and stalking, as you'll see in the video. Friday, uh, our hunt got messed up by... Uh, illegal aliens and border patrol crossing through the ranch scattered the animals totally messed it up thankfully saturday we were able to to uh get on some animals and make it happen i really appreciate Paige's hospitality at the ranch the lodge is great i'll put a link down in the description to his website where you can contact him if you'd like to go over there and hunt for yourself out of all the thousands of people that watch my channel, the majority of them aren't subscribed. So do me a favor, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos, and hit that thumbs up button. Now to the hunt. So we jumped the group, they ran off, Brad didn't get a shot. You kind of messed that up, Brad. No, I, I could have shot, but they were too close. So I, I got to shoot 500 plus yards. 500. That's the goal. It's <clears throat> not a trophy uh, unless it's 500. Right? <laughs> yes. uh, other problem is, is we got Border Patrol behind us. We didn't even know, but they were in the woods. And that doesn't help the situation. I think they're either. looking for us. <laughs> they, I, think, I think they saw the truck. The truck was here with all the doors open because we got out. We didn't want to slam the door. And I think they thought we bailed out or something. I don't know. Anyway. They came quick. It's a very interesting situation down here in Del Rio, Texas. We're, what did he say? 12 miles from the border? 12 miles. We're 12 miles from the border. And uh, the illegal aliens crossing this ranch is uh is at an all-time high right now so um, i think we've seen more federal border agents and dps state troopers texas dps uh than i've ever seen in my life just on the ranch just on the ranch and that and it's it is uh it's 12 o'clock right now so anyway keep y'all posted So no luck on that one either. Brad, he's, uh, he's not a very good hunter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all Paige's fault. Blame it on the guide, why not? Yeah. So there's a group right over here. We're gonna go walk down there. See if we can kind of cut them off. My day to shoot. Still coming from the right. Get on him, get on him. He's down. No, he ain't. Get up here, make Wait. Up. Take this up here. Five and five. Go 
go get them. I'm walking through to go find them. Yeah. Like bread? It's really good. Well, we got this animal down. Uh, beautiful ram. Probably is going to go about 30 inches or so maybe 31 and uh, now we just gotta go get Brad a ram you ready Brad I think he's yelling at his daughter or his wife that's driving the Polaris to come over to us not easy terrain over here so uh, we're gonna load this guy up and then try to go get another one I have 32 32 He'll dry out probably 30. I knew he'd get cheap. I, am, I usually underestimate him. I'd, I'd rather, I tell you 30, and then he's 32 and you got a hoorah. See, really, you know, you do the three inch rule, but I don't do it. It's, it comes out the same. So, like, three inch rule, you go here. Yeah. But then what you do, and then you start up here, and you come around. One side's always bigger. So you get 29 plus 30. 32. 32. Pretty good cheap, sir. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, That's what me and, me and Brad were saying, that it was the uh, the perfect stalk. Oh, yeah. Just got to have patience. So, Paige, tell us some of the trials and tribulations of living on the border. So living on the border, they cut fence and painted my ass. So how old is this fence? How old is this fence? A year old. One year old. One year old fence. Somebody already patched it. Look like. And it goes down to those other trucks down over yonder. I'm just, it worked good. And, uh, yeah, a lot of money. Yep. Because now the integrity of the fence, really what you got to do, see how loose it is? Yeah. You're going to have to go all the way, almost back to the H brace and restretch. That's Turn right. All this off. To do it right, for sure. This is the uh, this is the kind of a destruction that the landowners down here have to deal with on a regular basis. Which way are we going? To south. To south. Which way is that? That way. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. He start moving. <laughs> think I'm gonna take a chance on it? What a good guy does. That's that's right. <laughs> How you feel, Brad? He is. Boom. Right here. Boom, boom. Got it done today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when Bortro and Illegals ain't running around. That's right. You can find them and get on them. Right at last light. He's pretty. He's a good chap, too. 31 and a half. 31 and a half. Yeah. He's Good nice. Deal, sir. Awesome animal. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bird Adventures. Do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies!